So it's um, January 7th, uh, 2019. It's been, what, a year and a year and four days, or sorry, a year and three days since um, I started doing this, this vlog. Um, probably haven't, <laughs> haven't quite uh, reached the um, levels of success that I had hoped when I'd started. Um, I didn't. I didn't really foresee a number of the um, number of the uh, roadblocks and things I'd run into over the year. Um, I thought that uh, I thought the biggest challenge was going to be my men like how mentally strong I could be, um, and whether or not uh, whether or not that would be um, the biggest thing that I have to deal with. It's probably been. The last couple of months that's been something I've been struggling with and I'll kind of get into that shortly but um yeah when I when I first started off doing this last year um I just I, I didn't see I didn't see all the problems I'd run into so um here we are a year later um um I think today I'm oh what am I uh like 20 pounds <laughs> I've lost 20 pounds in a year um it's frustrating because I I was I was down further than that uh, a couple months ago um and that's you know it's a bit of a piss off um and yeah it's it's partly my fault but Partly, um, partly one of those things I've been sort of dealing with this year. Um, as, as anybody who's been paying attention or anybody that knows me, um, I've been dealing with a lot of like injuries, um, health problems, um, little setbacks, stuff like that. That's kind of come up. We got the, the whole gout thing it was an issue for a while. Um, but we seem to have really got that sort of under control. Um, I haven't really had any gout flare-ups in some time, um, so that, that's really not an issue anymore. Uh, but it's been more injury-related, uh, more physical problems, um, and they just, they seem to be getting worse lately. Um, you can't really tell, um, from the way that I'm sitting, but my back and my right shoulder have been giving me um, some serious trouble for a number of months now. Um, my back almost, you know, every couple of weeks it, something goes on it. And, and, I, and lately I, I'm pretty sure that my back is struggling because I've put on a bit of weight. Um, and also because I'm compensating for my shoulder that isn't working properly. Um, so there's just a lot of things that are going on. And, you know, I, the other day I just, I reached over to my dog was sitting on my beside me on the couch and I just, I reached over to grab a ball, um, from her mouth and just by reaching over my back went, <laughs> um, and it's just, that's just, that's like, it's kind of how it's going right now. And it's frustrating. Um, so that's partly, that's probably what's going on with, uh, why my weight hasn't been going in the proper direction lately. Um, and also where I've been. Um, so, I don't know. I should really think more about how I'm going to record these things. But I never want them to be scripted. I just kind of want to say what's on my chest sort of thing. Um, so I'll, I'll start off with the shoulder. Um, so in the summertime, as you guys know, I was uh, I got into playing footy again finally. Um, and I was playing goal. And, um, and one, one day, I think near the end of the season, uh, it must've been in August. I think I, I dove to my right to make a save. Now I can't do it with my right arm right now and I'll show you why. So I dove, this is my left arm. I dove completely to my side like this with my right arm. And when I landed, I basically landed right here. Like all my weight went right in this area. So now I can do this with my left arm. But I want to see my this and what I'm going to show you now is a 
massive improvement over the last month and a half. Um, so a month and a half ago, uh, what you see right now, this is what I can do with my arm. It was generally always just kind of sitting like this. Um, so I can... I can lift my shoulder that much right now. Um, I can... I can't touch the back of my head. Well, maybe... I okay, can touch the back of my head a little bit. I can get my fingers to it. But like, I can do this for this time. Um, I Reaching behind me is almost impossible. So this shoulder is fucked. Um, it's been giving me the, the most amount of tr struggle um, since September. Um, it's it's really been like I, when I when I first heard it in footy, um, it was just sort of oh it's okay whatever I could still move it around it would just like get some pain from it every now and then but it was still like functioning. Um, but then come September, uh, it kind of flared up again. Come October, it flared up again, and then November it flared up again. Every time it'd flare up, it would get worse and worse and worse, and I would have I would have less like less mobility with it. Um, and I'm even at the point now that if I reach if I reach too far in one direction, if I try to like, not only does it hurt here, but I get a sharp pain across my bicep, um, and it's just like it, it freezes me. It, it 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 hurts and it lingers for so long, and I just I have to like I don't know I, I have to wait it out, and then it just finally subsides. It's the strangest pain, and it's in the strangest area, um, so it sucks. Um, so it's been, like, I can't even type shoes. Um, there's been days where my wife's had to help me get dressed just because I can't, I can't reach. I can't, uh, like, putting on socks is impossible because I can't get my arms out far enough, like, just to reach down on my feet. It's, it's been shit. It's been really frustrating. Um, and that's kind of also where I am right now. Is that, um, fucking depressed right now, man. Um... All this kind of happened. <laughs> it's gonna seem so stupid, but it's this is where I am. Um, about in September, um, when we moved, I was all excited about the move. I was excited about uh, starting to shoot other videos and start to do this a bit more frequently. Um, but you know, I fucking shoulder starts acting up, and I'm I'm finally going back to work more. But when I'm when I go to work, I'm getting injured more, and it's just it's just it's been a really fucking depressing struggle the last couple of months. And so one thing that really fucking just put me over the edge was um, when I made those couple uh, tips videos. Um, it was just the power of the internet and people being assholes, but I let it get to me and I let it get to me bad. Um, just some, some fucking dick on Reddit. Um, just saying some really shitty stuff about, you know, why would I take fitness tips from some fat fuck like you? Um, and man, it, it got to me and you know, in my, in my head, I'm just, oh yeah, he's right. Why? What's, what's he, why is any, why would anyone listen to you? What's the point of even fucking doing this? What's the point? Why does it matter? I've been been this way my whole life. And so what's you know who fucking cares? And so is it basically since September I've kind of been kind of thinking that like it's sort of like what the fuck like who cares who gives a shit. I'm just, like, like I say, I'm depressed. I am. It's uh, there's no ifs or ands about it. It's in my head every single day. And every time I have some health problems, like when I went to the, when my shoulder was really bad, I went to the hospital because I was in unbearable pain. And I had also, at the same time, I had been taking my blood pressure or medication at the wrong time of the day for a few days. And it was causing some problems um, just with like, like my circadian rhythm wasn't proper like it wasn't basically the dose was coming at the wrong time so my my blood pressure was all kind of fucked up and just when i went to the hospital to get my arm checked my my blood pressure was a little high and then of course i'm in triage and then the word that my blood pressure is high and then 
I I get I get really nervous um, when I'm at the hospital, and I get even more nervous when people start talking about uh, my blood pressure and my heart rate and stuff like that. So that uh, that escalates things. Um, it's very placebo, but it, it does escalate things. So then you know I come in to get my shoulder checked. Next thing you know. Um, I'm getting an electrocardiogram to make sure I'm not having a heart attack because everything's, everything's really high for some reason. So, you know, just a random Tuesday night. Um, and this thing is like, you know, I'm fucking terrified of dying. It scares the shit out of me. But the thing is, it's in the back of my head every single day, all day long. Um... I'm constantly aware of my pulse. I'm constantly aware of my blood pressure. I'm just, uh, and yet here I am struggling with losing weight. <laughs> and it's almost like sometimes I'm terrified, but at the same time, it's like I want the terror to be over. I either want, I don't want to die, but I'm also tired of being scared. But I'm also fucking depressed about how I'm just failing at everything that I do and it's it's not just it's it's not just my weight um I feel like just feel like I'm failing everywhere right now and the last five months have been tough as much as last year was shitty because I wasn't working at least there was like there was somewhat of a reason for it I was trying to get healthy and then and then I start getting a bit healthier, and then it's just I can't fucking get anything to work properly. So this is where I am right now. I'm trying... I'm trying very much to motivate myself. Um... And that's why I've, I've, it's 2.30, 2.45 in the morning right now. And I know that I had to force myself to get up and go shoot this video. Because this is just the first step in all the steps that I have to take to get going again. Because, as I've said a few times, I am fucking depressed right now. And it's killing me mentally. But I need to, I need to be stronger than it. I've been, you know, I, the shoulder thing has been an inconvenience, 100%. I see, being able to, to tie my shoes, um, there was a long, there was a good stretch there where I wouldn't be able to actually be able to sit here. There's no way that I could move my shoulder enough to navigate my mouse to do anything like this. Um... So to be able to shoot something and edit it just was impossible. I mean, I could shoot something on my phone, but, you know. Again, that's an excuse, right? You know, I could do that, but... So, um... And uh, one of those little... One of those little excuses that I allowed myself to make bigger... Because of where I am mentally... Is, um... My, uh... My... My... Earbuds, my, um, my my Bluetooth earbuds I always wear when I'm working out. Um, I had plugged them into charge one day, and then I couldn't find them. And, well, I can't find my headphones, so I can't go to the gym. There's a small little exercise room in the basement of our building here. It's decent. It's got some free weights and a bike and stuff, but... Uh, for a while, you know, I couldn't tie my own shoes, so I can't go. I really can't lift weights. I can't lift weights regardless, but just go ride the bike. So I just, I, they've had this little voice in the back of my head for months now. It's just like, just go ride the bike 20 minutes. Just go ride the bike for 20 minutes. Let's go do it. But the depressed me is just like, I don't give a fuck. Uh, you know, it's, well, it's not even that they don't give a fuck. It's just to find something else to do, which is, you know, just watch some videos on YouTube or something. Just finding excuses. Just always finding excuses. 
it's tricky, you know, because uh, I don't like, I don't want to get medicated. I don't want to be on, I don't want to have some, I don't want to have some, uh, some chemical, uh, faking some reality in my head for me that makes me think that I'm happier than I am, um, because I'm not. So I need to, I need to put the effort forward and take the actions that I need to do to make myself happier. I remember being told once that, um, uh, something like action begets motivation. It's not the other way around. And so that's what I'm doing here. Um, there's, this is just me creating the motivation that I need to get going again. Because when I check in this time next year, I don't want to, I don't want to have said that I'm only 20 pounds down again. Because next year I'll be 37 and I would like to be in better shape and I would, Hopefully the next year, you know, hopefully the next year we can, we can start a family. I'm getting old. I don't want to, I don't want to wait for everybody to have kids. And I know my wife doesn't either. So. This is me just, this isn't for anybody else. This isn't. This isn't a, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. This isn't anything like that. This is just me doing what I have to do to get going again. Because every, every minute that I'm wasting, it's killing me. And it's eating me. Like it, it's, it, it's like a constant battle in my head between... The one side of me that wants to fix things and the other side of me that's just so fucking beaten down and broken and tired of losing. It just, it's, it's had enough. It can only fail so many times. And then it, it makes it even worse when, when you're tired of failing and <laughs> And then things start happening that are out of your control. Uh, like when I'm finally mentally prepared to do this, my body starts giving up on me. And I know that that's my fault because I put my body in that situation. I've, I've, created, I've created the reality that I'm in. I've done this to myself, you know, no one else, no one else made me be this way. Maybe I've had some bad advice along the way, but no one else has forced me to do anything that I've done. It's all on me. Another thing that's kind of sucked is, uh, like, I can't even, I can't even shoot a bow and arrow right now. Because, <laughs> again, this arm is my, you know, it's my support arm, but to draw, I can't, I can't draw. So, and this is the, you know, fun thing about, uh, the healthcare that I'm dealing with. So I went to the hospital, when I went to Emerge, was like, I don't know, November 1st or something. No, sorry, not November 1st. Like November 25th or something, 23rd, 25th, because it was just after my birthday. And we went to the hospital, you know, problem with shoulder, and they checked me all out with my heart and stuff, and it was fine. Uh, but they did x-rays of my shoulder. Um, they uh, gave me a referral to go see a physiotherapist. Um took like a week or so to get into, week, week and a half to get into the physiotherapist. 
Um, when I got in to see him, you know, I checked to see all the motion. Of course, like I said, in, in the last month, uh, my range of motion has improved, but it feels like, like I don't get, it doesn't hurt as much anymore, but I feel like my range of motion is becoming more permanent or my lack of range of motion is becoming more permanent. Um, which really sucks, <laughs> which really sucks because, you know, I can't really use my right arm properly. Um, I can't, I can't extend my right arm properly. Showering is fucking fun. Putting on deodorant. I can't even like, if I, if this shoulder is itchy, I can't even reach like this is as far as I can reach across to my shoulder. Um, so yeah, so that was, uh, sometime in December. Um, that was early December. Like, I want to say, like, the, the 5th or something. I have it on my phone somewhere, but what? So it was, like, December 5th when I saw the physiotherapist. Um, and the earliest I could get in to get an ultrasound on my shoulder was December 28th. Which is amazing. So I had to spend the majority of December waiting to get an ultrasound. I uh, finally got in, had that done, and... Uh, Called for my follow-up appointment because the, the physiotherapist said he wanted to see me about four days after the ultrasound. So, um, yeah, January 15th or 17th, some shit like that, is my follow-up appointment. So it's going to be like a month and a half um, by the time I get to see him since I first saw him. And then... You know, uh, it'll just be the one, the one session because I can't, I don't have insurance for it. Um, I can't afford physiotherapy. So it's going to have to be one session to learn the exercises that I need to do. And then away I go. So there's no real guarantees at this point of what sort of range of motion I'll have back with my right arm. <laughs> no. I shouldn't get too uh, too depressed about that yet, because you know I gotta wait to see what he says when uh, when I see him in a few weeks. So, um, yeah, let like me say I'm not gonna sit here and make any bold promises right now about how often I'm make, gonna make videos. Um, I'll try to do it more often, but uh, when I get up. When I get up, I'll get back on the bike. And the next time you hear from me, um, I promise I'll be in a better mood. Um, anyway, as always, uh, thank you guys so much for, for all your positivity and all your support. Um, it, it definitely helps, um, helps a lot. Okay. Take care.